Fairmont gear, it's an EF Fairmont gear. Um, I did buy it when I bought it, I bought it completely stock. Um, stock, auto, I'd say everything was stock. Um, I bought it off the original owner, he he went to it and bought a brand new Falcon. Um, the fact that it's on the second owner it means absolutely nothing because there's not much left of the original parts on it. Um, but yeah, there's just a quick little walk around. What have we got? Diff. It's got an AU345 diff in it. Um, it does have a mini spool in the diff. It's got these twin calipers. One there, one there. Um, it does have a hydro. So, foot brake and then hydro. Um, the rims, 18. They, they are staggered, 18 by... 10 on the back, 18 by 9 on the front. Um, there's a front. It does have an AU cross member in the front. So I've got the bigger AU brakes, the twin piston AU brakes in the front. The inside is Look, the inside's quite dirty. I, it is a daily. I do drive it quite often. Um, I'm just on my way home from work. That's why I've got stuff in here. But yeah, the Kappa interior. It's got... It is five-speed still, but it's got a TKO 500 gearbox in it. So it doesn't have a normal Falcon T5 or anything. Um, that's locked. I'll give you a look at the engine, mate. Look at that reflection. The reflection, eh, is unreal. Look at that. This Dover's detailing does that for me. Now, hold up. My engine, mate, I really hate it. It looks messy. I hate the look of it, but anyway, I will show you. So, Barra Turbo. It is a proper turbo motor. Um, for all those people that tell me I should have gone gas motor or that sort of stuff, it's an actual proper turbo motor. Um, it does have the 3582 on it, but it's got a GTX core. Um, intake manifold, spill and boost one from TR Performance, just the top half that bolts on. What else have we got? Oh, it's got, um, it is, hydraulic clutch now because of the TKO. The TKO is hydraulic, so it's been converted. That's that's my clutch fluid. Um, next thing would have to be, let's see, um, what else have we got? We've done clutch, um, core, the turbo. I, know, I do want to fix, I've got to fix that filter. That filter's shit as. Um, I did have a K&N one, something went wrong with it. Um, I do want to tidy a lot of stuff up. So like, shit like this, that, what the, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, terrible, I want to remove it all. All this braided shit, I want to get rid of it all, I don't like it. Um, I got a little catch can down here, doesn't, doesn't really do much, nothing goes in it. Nothing goes in it. It doesn't seem to breathe too much, considering it's on like 18 psi now. But it used to run around 20 psi. It used to be about 20 psi before I got it. When it was in my mate's car, he used to run it like 20 psi minimum. He used to be 20 psi on 98. Sometimes at an Archfield drift track or something like that, he'd be on 22 psi. It was it was pretty insane. Um, 
Uh, so internal, um, it does have like other things on the engine. Um, it's got injectors and um, oil pump gears and um, the valve springs, stuff like that. Everything, everything it needs to um, make 600 horsepower, it's got. Um, not really sure what else there would be. We've got suspension wise, we've got BA coilovers in the front. Um, and I've got VF rear coilovers in. I don't think you can see anything. Look, you can't see too much, but I've got VF Commodore rear coilovers in the rear. And then BA in the front. The VF rear coilovers in the rear, they go in pretty easy. I just trimmed the, a tiny little bit off the side of where the eyelet at the bottom is. So say it's meant to be that wide, I just trimmed it so now it's like that wide, so it fits inside the diff. Um, it's like two mil each side, it's it's really bugger all, but yeah, and then they fit directly in. As I've said in almost every single one of my other videos, I do want to upgrade this hot side, six boost, Pulsar 3584. Um, I do want to get a better filter. One thing I actually have been looking at is an underdrive harmonic balancer. Now, realistically, I'm like, what I'm wondering is, is it worth it? Like, have people gotten them and then just thought, nah, never seen a difference or not, don't worry about it or wouldn't do it again or something like that? I don't know. I want to know, is it worth it?